Violence across the border prompts new security measures at a Valley pump station. The general manager tells us the safety of his employees is his top priority. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez spoke with him about the changes. The uproar of gun battles have stayed in Mexico for now. That doesn't mean one Valley employer and his men aren't prepared. Past events have employees keeping a lookout for any violence that may strike up. Behind the sound of heavy machinery, you'll find Manuel Villarreal. He's been working at the pump house on the Rio Grande for about six years now. He says it's relatively quiet, but recent reports of gun violence just across the river. I mean, like, like, like fireworks, but they hit the, the cement and cement started like flying. Has Villarreal remembering a time where it wasn't so peaceful? About four years ago, they shot at me twice. We we're working by the new pump station. And a friend of mine said, hey, compadre, they're shooting at us. So and we just, we blew out of there. Villarreal says working on the river can be dangerous. We first told you about the pump station and its employees being allowed to carry guns in 2016. We spoke to Othel Brand Jr., the general manager of the pump station, about the new measures being implemented. Sometimes I've gone down the river to check on the, on the guys in the pumps myself. And there's been several times I've pulled up and there'd be three to five guys standing there at the pump station, illegals. That's why new safety measures are in place at the pump station. On the new pump station, we got, uh, we got like sheet metal and on the inside of the sheet metal, we got Kevlar. We got about an inch of Kevlar. Just to protect ourselves a little bit, you know. If, just in case they shoot at us again, we try and protect ourselves. Brand says he tells his men to use their common sense when dealing with the violence across the border. And if they can't see who's shooting at them, well, they're going to leave. That's just, that's just a given. Sometimes water district employees are required to come out here before daylight. Unlike on St. Louis Park, everything on that side of the river is guarded by brush. They can see you, but you can't see them. Brand says all his men are allowed to legally carry guns at work to protect themselves. Most of that fight, that gunfire is territorial fight on their side. It's not at us. It's not. Of course, we can be collateral damage. He says since the shooting incidents there, there have been several items put in place for the safety of his employees, including those Kevlar screens we mentioned earlier. We've done a lot to, uh, you know, light the place up, put cameras, put in a boat ramp. You do the best you can to protect your environment and your men that, that you work, and that's what we've done, and feel like we've had good success with it. Brand says it's all about being prepared and hoping his men know when to leave. Brand and his employees say the drug and human trafficking has taken a 180 turn. Now instead of drugs crossing the river, they are now seeing more women and children. In the studio, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 4.